Joy Reid is a liar. Why is she a liar, you say? Because I refuse to believe that anyone can be that stupid. Don't worry about that. Yes, uh, Joy Reid. I saw this trending. You know, I, earlier I posted a video about uh, trending stuff on on uh, Twitter. Anyway, um, X. X. It's called X now. I get on there. It says Joy Reid. I, I don't watch MSNBC, so I, you know, I don't know. But anyway, I'm like, who, who the heck? Joy Reid. I click on it, and guess what? Here's this lady saying to her audience, I don't know how many people that is, that, um, you know, Republicans are voting for Trump because of race. It's all about race. They're going to kick the blacks out of the college, she says, and they're going to do all... <laughs> what in the world? How can someone actually believe that? How can anybody? I mean, you we, we're not living in the 1860s here. OK, this isn't uh, let's go even later. We're not in the 70s, the 60s, the 50s, any of that. We've moved on from that kind of thinking. Nobody, I mean, outside of a very small minority within this country, think in that way. Uh, and uh, the last time I checked... Both of the candidates now, because, like, uh, you know, the Haley finally dropped out. But even if she didn't, um, I'm pretty sure that she's pretty white. I mean, so is uh, Joe Biden. He's a, he's whiter than I mean, if if I were to put uh, Trump and uh, let's say we put Trump and Biden lined up against each other. And I had to ask you, which one of these two people is the most white? Uh, you'd be you'd have a hard time. I mean, uh, well, I think that it would probably go to Joe Biden. He's he's so old and decrepit at this point that all color has left his uh, his skin and hair. But um, that's beside the point. Nobody thinks that way anymore. Who I, I guess uh, they've been trying to bring it back. It's like you know, old uh, old styles that come back around. For some reason, they think. Uh, that this is the style that's going to come back around. But I've got news for you, it's not. The uh, the big collar and all of that, th this is done. We don't think like that. And besides, you know, if, if you've got another option, I mean, I, I think plenty of people who vote for Trump now, well, they voted for Barack Obama back when he was running, when he was president. Didn't he get an, a, a huge majority of the votes in the country? I mean, uh, what can you say about that? I'm not going to go into uh, his actual presidency and what he did, but um, I don't know. I don't think that uh, Republicans vote based on race. Uh, there might be some, like I said, you know, there's this small, tiny minority within the country that have crazy beliefs. But what are you going to do about that? You can't, you know, force someone to think a certain way. But, um, yeah, she knows that. She knows all that. She's just a, an absolute liar. Sorry, I'm kicking the microphone again. <sighs> so, with that in mind, now that you know that this person is simply a liar, and anyone who says this or, you know, repeats this, uh, this thing about Republicans are voting for Trump because of race, they're a liar. And now you can just dismiss them outright and not even care. Because, uh, you know, you, you don't need to listen to them. You, equally, you don't need to listen to idiots. I think that, that she may be stupid. She may be stupid. But I just, I can't imagine that anyone is that stupid that they would actually believe that line. No, they're liars. They're evil people. Boy, I keep hearing that. Um, I think it's Tim Pool now. He calls them evil. It's true. This this person's, I don't know what to, what to if she comes up with this on her own, I, I don't think that she's smart enough to come up with this on her own. She's probably got someone telling her, this is what we're going to say today. Today, you know, you need to tell everybody that Republicans are racist. You're racist if you uh, vote for Donald Trump. And um, I'm not telling you which way to vote. I, I'm not. I, you know, vote for who you think you should vote for. But um, I don't think that race comes into the equation here because they're all old white guys. As far as I can tell, I mean, if we're going to be categorizing them, I I, I don't know uh, what else to say. I don't think that anybody has brought um, brought up as part of their ticket, you know, like we're going to kick black people out of schools. Besides, they weren't the ones that were being punished, as far as I could tell from these uh, DEI things. Everybody's been suffering because of that. I um, I don't know that anybody wants that. 
It's just ridiculous. Can we go back to like, hey, if you do really, really well, let's say you're in school and against all odds, because I understand a lot of people, they go to bad schools, but you're a smart person and you figure it out. Well, you should be able to go based on your merit and um, get into college. But I'll tell you something. It probably doesn't really matter uh, when the economy is doing well. It doesn't even matter what school you went to. If you've got a degree, you've got a degree. That's typically the uh, the only thing they're asking for. Sure, you know, with some of these uh, people at the top, they have their own, you know, old boys club or whatever. But that's not the rest of us. The rest of society seems to work just fine without any of that. But, um, yeah, liars. Don't uh, – MSNBC, <laughs> who is a race, blah, blah, blah. Oh, man, what what a crazy world. And here's this lady, and she's, you know, Joy, Joy Reid. This is, I, you know what, this is appropriation, what she's done. She's colored her hair yellow. I can't even have that. That's, um, anyway, I'm probably going to cut that part out. Um, if I didn't, was it funny? Or was that a little bit too far? I don't know. I don't care. I um, I just don't care. And I'm giving you permission. Also, Well, you, you don't need my permission, but I'm just saying, you know, now that you know that these people are just liars, you, you don't have to care what they say because they're liars. And I hope that everyone in America is smart enough to figure that out. I know that I know that not everybody is, but um, for the most part, I have faith in the American people that they will recognize a liar and uh, just completely disregard what they say. Also, idiots. Disregard idiots as well. That's all. I'll, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Thank you.